Behold, the every page rule and how it can help you to build your email list up to six times faster. My name is Matt Ackerson. I'm the founder of Petobera, home for businesses who want to grow by building an online sales engine. All right, so let's dig into it. So my article this week is about the every page rule and how it helped us to grow uh, our email list 630% faster in about three months. And so I, I probably look at our Google website analytics uh, more often than I should. But um, by doing that repeatedly and consistently and combining that with studying other websites like lead pages, uh, HubSpot and others, I've been able to kind of distill down a few key observations about what is going to have the most impact as far as turning visitors to your blog and to your website into email subscribers and maybe even leads. And at first I, you know, we had a terrible conversion. We had about a 0.5% conversion rate. And over about three months of studying and taking notes and tweaking and testing and implementing, I was able to distill it down to about five key factors that have the most impact on your ability to collect email addresses and build your email list. So number one, it's the quantity of opt-in opportunities. For example, the number of forums on your website um, that are, you know, where people can input their email address as well as the number of calls to action. You know, you see this big yellow button over here on the right hand side while you're reading this article, it says, you know, subscribe now. That's a call to action. Number two, the incentive offered. So you want to give people a good reason to actually join your email list. And it can't just be, you know, get a free consultation. Uh, it shouldn't just be get our newsletter, you know, um, although that, that does work, you know, if you produce good content, people are going to want to subscribe. Um, but you want to give people, uh, more of a reason. And that's, uh, you know, one, one great example of how to do this is we created a free course called how to double your leads in 30 days on the right hand side, which you can see here on the screen and people have, uh, opted into that at a relatively high rate because it's a good incentive. You know, people want to learn, you know, how do you do this? And it's a free course. So number three, the simplicity of the form. I've documented in past in a past article how we're able to actually double our conversion rate. Um, doubling at the time didn't really mean a lot, uh, you know, taking it from 0.5% to 1%, but in the grand scheme of things, it is pretty significant. And the way that we did that was we were originally requiring a first name and an email address and on all of our forms. So we removed the requirement for the first name and that actually doubled our, uh, our opt-in rate. Go figure. But it makes sense. And uh, I further highlight and talk about in the article just below this video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link to below this video to go read it. The uh, Marketo published some data on this themselves. They did an A-B test on one of their key forms on one of their landing pages and they removed two fields. And as a result, they were able to increase conversion rates on that form by 32%. So simplifying the form can actually have a big impact as well on your opt-in rates. Number four, how well the incentive fits within the context of the content on the page. So this is very applicable to blog posts in particular. And uh, what I do to implement this is I use what's called the content upgrade. So I highlight at the beginning and the end of each of our articles, uh, a nice bonus, either a video or a free PDF checklist in some cases that people can download by putting in their email address and opting in. And uh, the reason why this has a very good conversion rate is because it's it's within the context and it's highly relevant to what people are already reading. Um, try to get back here to the key points. Okay. 
And number five, the overall visibility of the opt-in opportunities is the fifth and final key factor that's gonna affect how quickly you're able to build your email list. So what I found is that if you make these uh, opt-in opportunities more prominent, for example, on the right side of uh, this blog post page, you can see how when you scroll up and down the page, there's a little widget on the side that says to you know subscribe to our weekly email newsletter to get fresh content from us. That widget stays with you as you scroll up and down the page, thus increasing the uh, prominence and increasing the visibility of it. And this has a, a big impact on your conversion rate as well. So those are the top five key factors. And if you wanna learn more about this, I really encourage you to, to read the article in full on our website, or if you're watching this on our website, it's directly below this video. And I tell you in greater detail, step-by-step, step, how you can uh, get similar results for your business, because we were able to take our email list conversion rate and grow it by six times faster. So we took it from 0.5% to 3.14% in just over 90 days. And it's still growing. Um, for example, this past week, if you look at our stats, we're doing 3.8% now. Um, that's partially because you know we're, we're continuously implementing and testing and tweaking new ideas. So uh, go ahead, read the article in full. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Um, I go through the three easy steps that it takes to implement it. And if you want to see my system, my daily process for going through um, our website and our blog and finding the low-hanging fruit every day uh, to, to further increase our email opt-in rate, click the link that's to, the, to my right on the left side of this video, okay? And I'll see you on the other side. Thanks.